Hello guys, this is the world and it's people's TV. If you're new here, a very special welcome to you. Please go ahead and subscribe as we dive into today's topic. And to my returning subscribers, shout out to you guys. You guys are the reason why we do this. We appreciate your love and support. So today we'll be talking about the death of a boss lady, a fashionista, professional makeup artist and entrepreneur, Karen Norris from Cameroon. Karen was the CEO of Karen Nurse Corner Beauty Salon and Spa. So what happened to this beautiful lady? Karen was poisoned by her friends three weeks after launching her business. Karen and her two yet-to-be-identified friends decided to have a girls get-together. They went to a restaurant in Yaoundé. In Karen's mind, she thought they were going to have fun, but her friends had a different motive. So her friends had allegedly planned to poison her. While at the restaurant, they ordered food and drinks, and apparently they dropped something in, in her food. Immediately she ate her food, her friends were so eager to send her home, so they hired a taxi to take her home. This was around 2 p.m. On the way, the driver noticed she was uncomfortable. Before she knew what was happening, she peed, pooped, and threw up on herself. The driver quickly rushed her to the hospital where the doctors and nurses tried all they could to save her, but she kept throwing up and soiling herself up to the point of her death around 4 p.m. The doctors believe she may have been poisoned. The reason why many people believed she was poisoned by those friends she had launched with was because of the manner in which they were eager to get her home in that taxi. According to the driver, the two friends gave him 10,000 francs to take 500 and give them change. The driver told them he didn't have change and so they told him to take 2,000 francs but he still didn't have change. Guess what they did? Instead of taking another taxi, they decided to give the taxi driver the 10,000 francs. It was like they knew exactly what was going to happen to her and so they didn't want to be around when it happened. According to the driver, she didn't look sick when she entered the taxi. The autopsy has been done, but the results have not yet been released. Some of Karen's friends rushed to her house after she was pronounced dead and went through her stuff. They claimed to have seen some charms and voodoo stuffs and believed she was practicing witchcraft. This made so many people angry. Instead of mourning their dear friend, they abused spreading bad news. Some even accused them of planting those charms in her house so as to confuse people. Her friends even went as far as taking pictures and threatening to post them on social media. Karen's family is actually begging her friends, telling them to wait. Her friends have been circulating audios on social media, saying she has been going to Nigeria, sleeping around with rich men. Others said she borrowed money from a bad source and that it's impossible for a 22-year-old to have 11 million CFA to start up a business. Here are some of the audios recorded by her so-called friends. She already signed her dead things from the early times. Is, did you both see that girl like a normal person? I beg, can I leave, please? They need the poison man too. They need the poison man too. If you go for go lick Pepe, Pepe go lick you. Pepe don't lick it. We don't talk to you anyway. The team will get to check and Nana. God go accept it for her, for her, for her heaven. Oh, Satan will just send him for her straight. You know, you would be saying, she said, judgment didn't even need to go here direct. I don't like nothing about her. That girl, she's the one that signed her death, though. She signed it like that. That girl has never been a normal girl to me. Somebody that sleeps with a man and a woman, and those who show in this life, they always want to dip their hands to get more work. They are not patient. They don't want to wait for God's time. He's in there, he's doing them. He will do them more and more. Yeah, she's the cause of her death. I've, since the day, at the time I heard she died, I've been saying that. It's not like her because I don't like her, because my spirit tells me 
she's not a clean person. When the nurse, stand down nurse, tell me that say, as a friend and start can they start ask space on the hospital, friend and start talk say this so, the one open car in the room, they see medications and see knife, something like jazz. So, and if you don't get some issue for money, so the thing when I he commit the suicide, they see suicidal medications and on knife and some jazz. So, some then talk how we get you go take money for bad house, other kind of stuff. Then, so in fact, no. So when they come up or sit to the talk, say you go take some take, you go take money for some bad place. They just start ask money conditions or other kind of stuff. Then, thing they don't mix up because they see the see medicine, they see suicidal medicine, they see knife from a friend in mouth. You know, that way they start ask you questions and you give a talk, you give a start talk any small so you know about your friend. Even if you don't, your friend will never get a thought, say one will wash or so whatever, will never get some thoughts, say you want, if he's sick, some kind of stuff, they give a start, you give a start talk. I myself now, I'm convinced. I don't know anything. I was with Karen yesterday. I'm not sure Karen was poisoned. Karen had an issue. If you get that, if, if you get issue, but what she told me was issue like we needed money. Like she just told me that she needed money, so I just gave her the money to solve the issue. But I don't know what's happening to her. But the issue was really serious from all what I saw. So I don't know. I don't. But she was explained to me. But now I was with her today because I was at work. Now. I'm guessing that she's dead, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm really understand how it happened. This girl we don't already involve himself. If he don't already tell a friend and think the way he he don't do him. He go right for Nigeria. If he don't already tell a friend and that we see and say don't work for his neck. The pressure we did that money for open that shop. That girl open that shop roughly eleven million. You know no so he, they go for a room, they see charms, they see suicidal mix, they see life. If family don't go check your room. If family don't check your room, if friend they want even post the chat, their family the dynamic, they're not post their conversation them. Any friend that turned into an enemy has been hating since day one. And your biggest hater could be your closest friend. That is why it is important to know those you associate with. Because those you associate with today would either uplift you or bring you down. Make the right friends and decisions. Because your success is not celebrated by everybody. Neither is your failure. Grief to all. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below. What do you think about fake friends?